Hi everyone, let's discuss about instrumentation amplifier. What is this instrumentation amplifier means? Up to here we have discussed about uh, several amplifiers in the open. The thing of that is only one stage of the amplifier we have discussed. That means only one amplifier circuit we discussed. Here instrumentation amplifier is nothing but a combination of several amplifiers. We are uh, taking in a different different stage and we are doing. Why it is actually required? If you take one example of your mobile phone, what you people actually doing in when you're calling the any other person so you are talking uh, to the uh, something like uh, your voice portion that is actually captured by the, your mobile phone and that is processed and after that that is producing the your voice to the other person yes or no so here what are the things actually going on your voice i can call as a that is physical signal so the physical signal we want to convert into the electric signal to process the stuff like voltage and uh, either current format. So that reason our aim is to convert the first stage is whatever our physical part if it is our voice it should be convert into the electrical part. So this process is usually known as transducer. What is this transducer means which convert physical into the electrical okay voice is nothing but some physical you can take temperature you can take pressure anything physical to the either voltage or current anything okay so this physical to the electric signal conversion is known as transducer so if you take as a your uh, mic it is a best, best example of the transducer and also you can take several sensors like temperature sensors gas sensors all type of sensors usually transducers so the aim of the uh, transducer is whatever your physical signal which convert into the electric signal the problem of this one it has a very very low signal what you are getting so whatever physical to the electrical it is not so easy so it will give very low signal this low signal only one stage of the output i cannot process it or i cannot get the how much required work so that reason here we are doing one more amplifier called pre-amplifier. Name pre means before processing we have to do one small amplifier that is called pre-amplifier. Or you can simply use as a uh, direct combination of transducer also possible. Next here in the instrumentation amplifier we are doing a real amplifier stuff. So in this we are doing as a processing amplification. Once the amplification is done we cannot keep as a voice or electric signal only that means if you are taking as a someone uh, voice uh, we only giving like a voltage or current no one will understand so it has to be given back in the physical format only so for that purpose we can use some indicator like a mic or if you are using some sensors you can use some display portion indicator something like that okay that portion we are calling in a output stage okay so these are the process what we are doing in the instrumentation amplifier instrumentation amplifier the main stuff we are doing that we are taking as a physical quantity as a input and converting into the electric signal and we are doing several stage amplification after that we will convert back that signal into the physical quantity or convert back into the whatever uh, the user can understand that quantity that is the whole concept of this instrumentation amplifier so in this process what what is the circuit diagram we can use i hope you people know about the bridge uh, type of circuit where we can analyze that what is the changes going on in the particular input portion suppose we will take one bridge part we will call this one as a va one name of the voltage okay this is okay we will call va this one vb this one. you can take vice versa also see here we can call some resistance value so uh, I will talk from VA. So I will uh, take here this one as a RA, this one as a RB and this one as a RC. Okay. And this resistance I will take as a transducer. So transducer means this is the resistance which vary. Usually what happens in the any bridge network, the, it has actually four arms and uh, the two, uh, two arm we are giving supply voltage like VDC and whatever V and VB we are getting that should be equal 
and the thing is the uh, all the portion has to be balanced then only we can get it so whatever here transducer we can call as rd plus delta r what is this delta r meaning is delta means changes changes of the resistance so here we are using such a transducer which is in type of resistance so whatever the physical signal is there that give in a format of resistance so here we converting like physical to the resistance when you converting resistance then in the balancing portion of this one resistance is very we can capture it what is going on so uh, this is the the first input stage process after that we are doing something called intermediate here and i am not showing output stage you can take here indicator or anything you can want uh, uh, portion okay only uh, we are talking about this so in the uh, first step here intermediate first step this is nothing but whatever we are using called as a voltage follower what is this voltage follower mean if i take as a uh, stuff like non inverting amplifier so non inverting amplifier means plus we are giving as a v in okay and anyway this is closed circuit so r1 is there r2 is there or rf we can take and this is v not and this is anyway connected to ground we know that output is v not is equal to we will get as a gain uh, so a into v in or gain we got as a already we discussed 1 plus rf divided by r1 here we are doing such a way that rf and r1 we are ignoring so what happened rf and r1 is equal to 0 this term we will make as a 0 so what happens we are getting a is equal to 1 when a is equal to 1 what happens this term become 1 v naught is equal to v this term usually we call as a voltage follower the name itself says that voltage is following whatever input you are giving you are getting in the out so circuit become what this is the positive this is negative anyway we are giving positive to the v in and here minus so uh, this is directly given to here because this connection is there but rf is not there anyway this portion you can show to ground or you can leave it like this okay this is the circuit known as voltage follower the aim of the voltage follower whatever input is there same thing we can obtain in the output in a proper format so here we are using that voltage follower here see it here we are giving positive to the input va and negative connected to ground similar way here also same portion we are using so uh, we are taking as a vb and va as a input connected to this this is nothing no operation going on here voltage follower we are doing and then we can give it some name for resistance r1 rf1 r2 rf2 like that okay this is nothing but what is going on negative also connected positive also connected so this type of amplifier known as a differential amplifier in first class i told there is a four possibility one is inverting non-inverting differential common mode here both the part we are giving different different va one side we are giving one side we be giving so this is nothing but differential amplifier the aim of differential amplifier is uh, such that it can be identified what is the difference going on this rd and delta r here actually we have to get if it is rd and delta r is not present or delta r is not present so i have to get uh, both are uh, zero because uh, difference is equal va is equal to vb so i will get as a minus nothing whatever changes is there that only amplifying here for those reasons here what extra we are taking delta r that is due to the physical quantity it will change the resistance value that will identify here and we are getting this is the whole concept of this circuit diagram so we will do some derivation of this one and we can identify what is actually going on so already told va is equal to vb this is nothing but uh, what the bridge will say okay this is the uh, any bridge network will say like that the two arm whatever is there should be equal that is we can consider so here what we are doing we are getting as a v difference yes or no? so here also here also so v difference is nothing but here we are uh, taking from va so we can call this one va and this one is vb okay so uh, v difference we are calling as a nothing but it is uh, va minus vb okay right so this is all about the two uh, equation we can take after that we can uh, check it out what is this va means what is vb means how to take va just check it out what is going on in the va so 
uh, finding VA. Yeah, we are using nothing uh, like voltage divider rules as usual. So see, first we have VDC from this end. So VDC is given. Then we have something like RD here and uh, plus uh, delta R. Okay, whatever uh, the portion we can take it. Then we have taking here VA. Then we have uh, the resistance called RA. And this is anyway grounded. Yes or no? That is how this portion look like. Okay. So if you look like I want to find VA. So uh, you can use as usual your uh, voltage divider rule. VA is equal to the resistance we have VA with RA divided by total resistance. So RA plus RD plus delta R. Okay. So that is the what resistance we have into we have VDC. You can call it any name that is the uh, supply given. So VDC. This is what you are getting VA. Similar way we can do it VB. Same operation. So how to find VB? So finding VB, we can take like that. Instead of RA, it is taken by the RB. So this is the ground. Yes, no negative means nothing but this part is grounded. So RB with RB, we are taking VB. So similar way, RB divided by RB plus RC. Yes, no? RB plus RC into VDC. Okay. These are the two formula for VA and VB. If you know that, you can apply it to the this part and find out what is V difference going on over there. So V difference is equal to VA minus VB. So apply the formula. So RA divided by RA plus RD plus delta R into VDC. Okay. Minus RB divided by RB plus RC into VDC. VDC is common. You can take outside. This is what V difference you are getting. Now your work is just a simplified. How to simplify this one? So here you can take RA, RB, RC, RD different values. Already I told the aim of this bridge network is all the values should be same. That means VA, VB should be same then only uh, this is called balancing bridge net and it only identify delta R variation here when these all four are equal then whatever changes if any changes occur that is coming delta R and that will shown in the this difference portion. So that reason we can say that simply RA is equal to RB is equal to RC is equal to RD. We can make it all the resistance equal and we can take as a R. When you take like that, you can simplify the stuff. So you are getting as a V difference is equal to, uh, we will take uh, RA means R. So R into okay uh, VDC divided by, we have RB, RA plus RD plus delta R. It is nothing but I can call as a uh, R plus R. That is nothing but 2 R plus delta R. So I will take 2 R plus delta R. This is what I will get again minus RB is nothing but R into VDC divided by RB plus RC is nothing but can I take 2 R because R plus R is 2 R. Okay. This is the what answer we are getting. Now uh, simplify this one and you will get uh, some answers. So here VDC is common. Take outside and uh, so we can write this one V difference is equal to so uh, multiply this to here this to here and uh, correct it so 2R into R into VDC okay minus 2R plus delta R into R into VDC okay divided by whole term so that is nothing but 2R into 2R plus delta R so here also RVDC is there here also RVDC is there. So I will take that outside. So V difference is equal to R VDC outside. So what left? It left like 2R is left in the this portion. Okay. Minus 2R plus delta R. Okay. 2R minus 2R. We can call it as a delta R. So we can write like a delta R over here. So de denominator write as it is 2R into 2R plus delta R. So here can I make R and R cancel it out. So the answer final answer we will get V difference is equal to VDC delta R divided by 2 into 2 I can take as a 4 R plus 2 into delta R. Okay. This is the final formula for the V difference. So whatever delta R changes that is occurs in the this V difference. Okay. 
this is the whole concept of the your instrumentation amplifier so here uh, the memorization of this equation stuff so just know the stuff here uh, it's a very easiest one va minus vb you have to take then make it all r and simply simplify this stuff you will get one r okay this is all about the instrumentation amplifier